On the season four premiere of A Comic Book Orange, we go underground with Jeff Parker and Steve Lieber, are astonished by Joss Whedon and John Cassidy's X-Men, and interview creator of Surrogates, Robert Vendetti. Reading Jeff Parker and Steve Lieber's new comic, Underground, really got me into the spirit to go spelunking. Oh, hey, Batman, I was just spelunking. Oh, good for you. Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. Underground is a new adventure series following park rangers and recently new lovers Wesley and Seth, whose duty to preserve the wildlife of a cavern system brings them into violent conflict with a greedy businessman. Writer Jeff Parker spends a lot of the first issue adding depth and believable insecurity to the characters, but it does get a little melodramatic. In the second issue, however, his plot is in full swing and it's all about the suspense. The art does a great job telling the story, with Eisner Award-winning artist Steve Lieber communicating so much through his illustration of facial expressions and Ron Chan's excellent colors selling the cave look. Though, the unorthodox lettering can be a little distracting. You can grab the first issue today and while it spends a lot of its time establishing the premise, next month's issue will hit the ground running. We give it 3 out of 5 oranges. Also coming out this week, DC Comics finishes its weekly series Wednesday Comics that combine big-name creators with characters on large one-page comics. It's been a grab bag of gorgeous work and fun tales. Worth the $4 an issue, we give it four oranges. Marvel collects all of Joss Whedon and John Cassidy's masterpiece run on Astonishing X-Men into an omnibus edition. This is the perfect superhero comic for everyone. It's pricey, but there must be someone you can gift this gem to. Perhaps yourself? It deserves the full five oranges. And finally, Dark Horse Comics Zero Killer No. 5 hits stores this week. Set in an alternate universe where a nuclear war took place in the 70s, it's a post-apocalyptic tale of ultraviolence and intrigue among the ruins of New York. Fine art, fine twists, but something just keeps us from wanting to buy it. It's perfectly average with 2.5 oranges. With the new Bruce Willis movie coming out this week, we had the pleasure of interviewing the writer and creator of Surrogates, Robert Vendetti. The movie adaptation of Surrogates is coming out. What can you tell us about that? Ah, it's just been an extraordinary experience. You know, it comes out September 25th. It stars Bruce Willis. Just from visiting the set and reading the screenplay and all those kinds of things, I'm really happy with what they've done. They've retained all the, the subtext and the themes of the story and not really having any reference for how films are made. When I visited the set and I saw the enormity of the production, it was just stunning to me that all these people were in, involved in bringing something to the screen that that I had written, from the caterers to the set builders and all those kinds of things. So I just really take it as a great compliment that people would want to invest their time and effort in something like that. The new book, Surrogates Flesh and Bone, is a prequel uh, to the first book. It's set 15 years before that, and it sort of shows you this future as surrogates are just becoming popular, whereas in the original story, surrogates are already very prevalent, and it's already an assumption that everybody in this future city is living through one. In the new book, you, you don't really know, am I standing next to a surrogate or not? So there's a lot of those sort of growing pains that the society experiences as this technology is, is becoming more popular. Surrogates was your first book and it was critically acclaimed. How long did you sort of have that idea in your head before you fleshed it out? It was actually only about a six month process from the day I got the idea until the script was completed. But actually bringing it to the page and publishing the book took about another two and a half years beyond that. So from the day I thought of it to the day I finished writing it, about six months. From the day I thought of it to the day the first issue was actually in print was about three years. Do you have any advice for new writers trying to make it in the industry? Really, you just have to take advantage of any opportunities that come your way. Uh, for me, I started out working in the publisher's mailroom uh, knowing I wanted to be a writer, but I saw that as an opportunity where I could get into the industry, get around like-minded people, see how, how it works on the business side and learn some of the nuts and bolts. Whatever way you can try to get involved, you know, you should absolutely capitalize on that because as a writer, you're asking an editor to sit down and read all these lines of text on a page and that's a, a lot more for someone to do whose time is already pretty scarce so anything you can do to sort of make it so that they'll be more willing to read your stuff you absolutely need to do that well that's it for this week when you're not watching a comic book orange interact with us on twitter and facebook or leave us comments we love that shit and i'll see you next week for another new episode of a comic book orange i'm simply wild about my good cocaine and i'll see you next week for another episode of Mmm.